makeup. You know, even as I sit down to film this video, there are literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of other makeup tutorials going up. Like, duh, as if, as if you didn't know that. Um, but who am I trying to convince here? Uh, is it... I just don't know. I, I'm at a loss. What's this video about? <laughs> um, look, guys, I just thought I'd come on here and do a makeup look. I'm going to be calling it a classic makeup look. Now, classic to you might mean classic different to somebody else. And why did I decide to come on camera and talk about my woes of makeup? Well, I just feel like we're going around in a regurgitating circle here. And as I try to explain why I'm a little bit frustrated is just the intoxication of trends that are going around at the moment and you know at the end of the day makeup is makeup do with it what you will don't eat it put it on your face play with it yes you want to make sure you have makeup that complements your face and your skin tone and all that sort of stuff and that's why i love doing these tutorials because not every person is going to benefit from every single makeup look that I do or you do or whatever. You know, what looks good on someone else will look terrible on you. What looks fabulous on you might look terrible on someone else. Going from one extreme to the next, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's just go on and put some foundation. I am gonna be using this one because I bought it and I haven't been really using it. It's a Natasha Denona. Oh, what's it called? Mm, oh, the, well, the little, thing came out of it this is just a little um what do you call it the sponge the natasha denona high glam powder and this is it here and honestly i do love this when i reviewed it i really really loved it it's so silky it's so smooth and the sponge that comes with it is great so just simply going to swipe down once and I find that I have to do a swipe per face well per face per part of my face so as I apply this to one side of my cheek I will find that I need to obviously keep doing the same and you can build it up and shear it out and whatever you want to do but I just you know, trends will come, trends will go, reinventing the wheel will keep happening. You know, what have we got left? Makeup companies are just simply, you know, um, wanting to just get your attention, wanting you to buy. Why has it come this way? Well, we've only got to blame technology, right? I mean, you know, people want to look a certain way. People are influenced a sort of way. They see media making, you know, someone's famous face look absolutely extravagant you know then there's you know you can go the whole route of you know full glam or no makeup you know and this whole like you know correct way of doing eyeshadow or not wearing eyeshadow or is it too much or is it too little I I've just I've run out of um explanations if you know what I mean if you can feel my sense of frustration um leave it in the comments below because makeup has now become a tool that could just i don't know make you feel like less enjoyment or make you feel guilty of even like liking it if you sort of get my gist but i'm here to say forget about all the trends forget about you know the right way of doing it forget about putting a pound of makeup on your face like a you know just all that stuff forget about it today i'm just here to do a classic simple makeup look and just to you know voice my concerns well they're not really concerns but just my frustration and i know this video will probably never reach the wider audience that i would hope it to because i am such a small channel and you know i just 
I'm not very good with articulating what I want to say. Everything that I want to say in my head does not come out. And I don't like scripting. So I just try to, you know, talk as realistic as I can. And um, I think that's about it for the foundation. As you can see, I love it because it gives a smooth, well, not that you can feel it, but it does give a beautiful smooth um, finish to the face. I do have a sunscreen on underneath here. Uh, I washed my face this morning because I hadn't washed it last night. So I washed it this morning, patted it dry, put on some sunscreen, and now I'm just simply applying this foundation over it. Okay. Going in with a little bit of concealer, I really, really have been loving the Colorstay Skin Awaken 24 Hour Concealer. This has been just a pleasure to use and it's been really meshing well with my 49 year old skin. And for those of you who are older or younger, age is nothing but a number, you should feel comfortable wearing any kind of makeup that you like whether it be you know um, a heavy eyeliner go for it if it's something to be a subtle eyeliner, go for it if you want to do the no no makeup natural makeup foundation free look go for it do what pleases you and just don't worry about it i have people who have been sticking to their whole makeup regime their whole life it never changes maybe the lipstick you know maybe the lipstick shade changes here and there but aside from using the same products like for example Revlon or Estee Lauder or whatever it might be some people have never ever ventured off and they will be so loyal to those brands because it works for them and is it because they're afraid to try something else or you no know, it doesn't make them less fashionable than someone else who's using the latest trend because believe it or not no one in the world is going to keep up unless you have 10,000 companies sending you products every damn day to try their product you know um well then i feel sorry for you because <laughs> how do you do it how do you do it anyway i'm just simply patting this over the eyes i'm just using this as a lid primer as well and i'm just going to work that concealer in with my fingers i think the less is more when it comes to doing concealer don't buy into the hype do what you want to do if something you know catches your eye i mean i love watching new products come out i really do i love it but if i were to buy every single product to try i mean i'd be pretty much broke and then some right and no i don't have pr companies reaching out to me because like I said I'm a nobody and that's just the way it is and do I like it that way well no of course I'd like my channel to be a little bit more bigger and obviously have a lot more followers and all that sort of stuff and just to be honest just a lot more views but that's something I'm working on and it's not the be all or end all I just simply love to do makeup I love to show people how to do different looks and that's what I enjoy. And likewise, I love watching other influencers or YouTubers or content creators do makeup as well because I just love it. I find it relaxing. I find it enjoying and soothing and just comforting, to be honest. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going on to do some eyebrows. Some eyebrows. Using my favorite Kush Fiber. Woo! There it goes. One moment. Okay, back. Just my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Really love this product. It is lovely like the uh, the Glossier Boy Brow, which I'm going to purchase, but I do have another backup of this Milk Makeup to use, and I will continue to keep purchasing this because it's the best brow product for my eyebrows. And... All I'm saying is I'm not fussy when it comes to eyebrows because whilst I do have hair for eyebrows, I find this product works best. Now, if you have minimal hair, my mum, she's pretty much plucked her eyebrows off her face, uses a, a pencil to fill them in. And she, you know, they're very, very, very thin, but she just does like one, two, three with a pencil and it's done. And, you know, 
that's fine that is fine and then there's people that can use a myriad of different products to do their eyebrows that's fine too but for me it really is probably the least favorite part of my face to do <laughs> uh, but i do like doing them with this product because it's just like a one and done and yeah so that's all i'm going to say about that all right so i hope you guys have all been well i have decided that i'm just going to try to keep it real i mean that's what i have been trying to do on this channel but you know there's just so much hype and hoopla out there especially with tiktok you know and and all these trends and don't get me wrong i've fallen for them i've done them to obviously you know get attention in terms of um, different types of trends and all that for fun you know and i just thought enough's enough like i just want to do makeup and i just want to do makeup that is real that's it that's all that's all i'm saying today we're just keeping it real as i always try to do keeping it real to keep it even more real i'm going to pause the video because i don't want to bore you with um how long it takes to do eyelashes and i'm not doing any eyeliner today i'm just simply going to be putting on brown mascara this is the it's an oldie by elf it's the lash it loud volumizing mascara this one here and it's in brown um, i'm going to put that on my eyelashes and i'll be back okay just thought i'd try something new so i was using this and it really wasn't cutting it wasn't giving me the oomph that i wanted so i pulled out my lancome hypnos mascara and i layered it on top of the elf mascara so if you can this is the elf mascara on its own and this is the lancome mascara on top it does have more of an impact um and i'm going to clean up the lid but i just thought i'd quickly record this part of the video i'm going to stop it again and do this eye okay so mascara is done top lashes bottom lashes yes i mixed them together for my eyelashes now we are going to do some hmm, in a corner highlighting i think will be nice to make the eyes sparkle and pop a little bit so i'm just getting a pencil brush and i'm dipping into one of my favorite highlighting products of all time the fenty beauty this one's in the how many carrots it's a diamond bomb highlighter this one there you, is that you see bloom over there let me just see if i can zoom you guys in i don't know if you can see her she's in there pencil brush dipping into that highlighter just to do a little bit of highlighting on the inner corner of the eye just for a bit of pop and sparkle and um, what i love about this highlighter is it's iridescent as well just putting a bit more okay that's all you need all right time for blush i was going to do contour but you know what lately i've just been doing bronzing as my contouring and yeah so um, i'm going to be mixing two shades of bronzer today i'm using the and only because i haven't used it in such a long time the diffused bronze light ambient uh, bronze by hourglass which is this one here really really beautiful marble bronzer and the this is the private island by fenty beauty uh, powder bronzer so i'm going to mix two bronzing bronzing shades together with my favorite bronzing brush this is the mr right Too faced brush just going to sort of do this type of thing tapping motions into both and putting that on now you guys don't have to do this of course but i just felt like using different types of products today because i haven't used them in a while and these really are some of my favorite bronzing powders to use and yeah 
little bit across the nose. Now, I would have also maybe done a monochromatic look by probably putting the eyeshadow over my eyes, but I don't want to wear eyeshadow today. It's going to be like a natural classic makeup look. That's it. Do I need more? Yeah, could use a bit more. I'm feeling like I just want to be summery. Taking that high up sort of under the eyes as well. And going to do a little bit of that just across the forehead to warm up the skin. A little bit under the chin. And just take the rest of that down the neck. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. If you feel like you do want to do a little bit of powdering under the eyes, I definitely like the Pat McGrath. This one is the Skin Fetish Sublime in Light. Um, but it's, it's just a beautiful product to put under the eyes if you want to powder and not have it looking cakey. Another one that is really good is the AOA Beauty Powder. It's only a dollar. It's fantastic. Um, I'm sure there's 10,000 products that are out there that would do the same. Now, it's time for lips. I, just to let you know, I had like 12 other products sitting here, maybe 14 other products sitting on my table that I thought I was going to use up today. And you know what? I don't need to. So... I do have two lip liners here and I'm wondering which one I need to use for complementing this shade of lipstick. This is by Golan. It's an oldie but a goodie and it's called uh, Beige Plume. And it's a beautiful nudie pinky shade. And uh, hi Bloom. Hi baby. Let me just show you my baby. My baby girl. Hold on. Hi, Dylan. Hold on. Hi. My beautiful girl. Sorry for the lighting, but uh, it's dark on this side, and that's why when I'm filming, it's it's a bit lighter, obviously. So putting this back, and obviously I put this back here, and now I've probably lost all the focus, and this is lopsided now because that's just how it is. All right, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. All right. Lips. So as I was saying, uh, lip liner that I'm going to be using to complement Beige Plume. This one, I know there's a lot of different um, uh, different variations of the Givenchy. It's not Guerlain, it's Givenchy. My apologies, this is Givenchy. Okay, Givenchy. And uh, this one is, like I said, the shade Beige Plume 102 something La Rouge. Now how, how typical is that? I think for the sake of this video, I am going to use the new Kosas Hotliner. This is in the shade Supreme. Been really loving a more browner lip liner lately. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to outline the lips with that. And I'm going to overdraw slightly. And then I'm going to fill in the lips with the beautiful shade. And that's it guys, that is it. It's done, I'm taking my hair out. So anyway, that is the look. I will 
zoom you guys in for a little closer. Nice, natural. Yeah, you can see my lip line, I don't care. But I think it looks pretty. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'm just going to try and keep it real. I think that's just how I best roll. See you in my next video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Love you and leave you. Bye for now.